Jesus, Now is the Time By Christine Preston June 20, 2015 Website Galactic Federation of Light.wordpress.com Produced by Higher Self Christine, the following are telethought transmissions I have received from the Master Jesus this morning in meditation. I have memorized our conversation, then received some thought forms and telepathic transmissions as I was recalling and writing down this message. It will be followed by an actual dictation from the Master Jesus, word for word, that I have taken down as he was transmitting it by telepathic communication, just a few minutes ago. Normally my ascended twin flame Andre gives me a dictation in this kind of circumstance but he is not always available now, due to preparing for what I call his descent, which will be a time of reunion with our higher dimensional family which will take place in the not too far distant future, any time after the end of 2016. So here are the notions that the Master Jesus has passed on to me this morning. Master Jesus in the USA, as well as many other nations, people are in a battle which has been called the Armageddon of the Psyche, and in this psychological conflict, what is becoming apparent, is that condemnations are being used as a weapon for criticism in reaction to the debates, in which the candidates for the elections of 2016 are taking part. Then, when people don't resonate with something that has been stated, the strategy of claiming that one candidate in particular is being divisive and is spreading hate has been used. However, in reality, hate can only be projected by the person who feels it or experiences it. And people should not allow themselves to hate or have feelings of hate. When there is disagreement they should draw a line and not involve the feeling world in those arguments relating to political issues and policies, or even culture or religion or national security matters, they should deal with the issues in an intellectual way as they are accountable for their feelings in the same way as they are for their actions or deeds. There is a problem because people create turmoil and chaos when they are not able to control their feelings and deal with what they regard as controversial matters. Negative and violent feelings such as hate can lead to violent actions, or reactions, which people may allow themselves to have because of their beliefs. Leaving the matter of the latter, as well as the question of extremism and fanaticism, let your attention be drawn to the contrast in which an analyst and journalist can approach controversial ideas and issues with calm in discussions, although at the same time, some shows are purposely devised to discredit the opponent and they end up in heated arguments. However, it is up to you to only generate love and separate intellectual arguments from the realm of feelings. So, broadcast love, not hate, should be the motto today, just as decades ago, in the 60s, in that era of sexual liberation, people said make love, not war. Today you are experiencing a different kind of liberation, one from a secretive anarchy that has controlled mankind, and indoctrinated it with erroneous notions. A revolution in spirit and consciousness is taking place. The liberation comes from the seventh ray of Saint Germain and the impulse of cosmic energies projected to Earth in this age of Aquarius, the hierarchy of which is Saint Germain who has been known for centuries as the Count of Saint Germain, and has a reputation as the man who never dies. The violet transmuting flame also is the energy of forgiveness that erases the records, their causes, and cores and memory. Its liberating effects will also cause the restoration of the rights, relating to every human being in the time of transition to a quantum leap to the fifth dimension in some years to come, in terms of coming changes to your physicality. The true democracy of the Founding Fathers will be resurrected and America is still promised to function as an example to other nations, when corruption is abolished and righteousness is resurrected in the land. Its truth and values have been desecrated because of the infiltration of dark powers in the government to its core, and therefore the divine representatives have not ruled over men. God over men is what government is supposed to be but has not been for many decades. 
now is the time for that descent, externalization, or manifestation. A revolution is taking place but as people are trying to work out who to follow, who is telling the truth, there is a whirlpool of negative reactions as well as an attempt of control on the part of those forces that have had a dark agenda and fear to lose control. However, you can recognize truth when you hear it, if you already know it because you have magnetized the light of Christ consciousness. Christine These are the basic notions that the Master Jesus has given me this morning after I called for assistance to pinpoint the cause of the turmoil in the crowds. He also gave me the following ones. Master Jesus Mankind has to let go of the dweller on the threshold, that phantom that is the not-self, and is a perversion in the psychological makeup of the qualities and virtues present in Christ consciousness. So when you hate, you manifest an antichrist. It is a miscreation that has prevented souls to ascend after death, and to escape the will of incarnations. Life on earth is a classroom for the revolutions that have been sent here to evolve. There are others, star seeds, and angelic ones who have been veiled but have come for another purpose, and also have a karma to balance, or sometime don't, and have come to provide a service in the project of ascension. The ego, and whatever is keeping you from the path of righteousness, has to be surrendered. Not only is this related to your deeds but to your thoughts and feelings. The Buddhists know that you can hurt another being by your thoughts and feelings. So they abstain from any wrong thoughts and feelings. These notions were taught by Jesus the Christ 2000 years ago, but may have been lost in the systems of belief that some people follow in the West. Not many people seem to realize that their own thoughts and feelings can have an effect. I would advise to choose to control your feelings even in reaction to a notion that you feel is outrageous. There is nothing wrong with criticizing and condemning an idea or something that has been done, but, in respect of another soul, when it becomes a personal attack upon another soul, criticism is like arrows of black magic that affect the auras and well-being of the soul towards which this criticism or condemnation is being projected. All energies of feelings are substances, and as the only source of energy is God, if you turn them into hate, you have created a misqualification of the light, which you will have to balance or repay. It will come back to you. It will do so because of the law of action and reaction. All energies are substances that are perceivable and tangible beyond your spectrum of consciousness, or of your senses. Now is the time to let go of these negative feelings and emotions, of criticism and condemnation, as we have a cosmic window for a graduation, which is your only opportunity in these end days when evil has to be removed, and when it closes, it will be for many thousands of years. Now is the time for graduation for as many souls as possible among the great mass of mankind. A lot of help is being dispensed at the moment for mankind's progression upon the path of initiation, as well as a phase during which the souls that are not anchored in consciousness upon the fifth dimension yet. They are being stripped of a veil that they have created and that is also the result of the ancient tampering of their genetic makeup. This psychic cleaning up and disentanglement has to occur before they can receive enlightenment. Disclosure is in itself a catalyst for the surfacing of feelings in reaction to many intellectual notions. So, therefore, broadcast love and not hate, should perhaps be the new motto. The souls that are not able to graduate will eventually be relocated to another Earth-like planet, where they will continue their evolution in the third dimension of duality. Mother Earth is moving on, and if you want to remain on her, allow the waves and tsunamis of love to change you. The projection of hate upon another being is particularly generated in systems of beliefs that are extremist, or in any sort of fanaticism. There are some that are the result of misinterpretation of the records made many thousands of years ago, which we call biblical scripture, but have in some cases been edited and compiled about 300 years after the original teachings were written down. A conspiracy has been at work to suppress truth, 
and mankind is therefore excused to some extent for its ignorance. It has been the victim of indoctrination, and information has been controlled from education to science, and in respect of all the fields of life. This is why the project of disclosure is so important. You see, the call to go after evil, was a quest to eradicate the evil within, as well as in the external world, but this admonication has been misinterpreted or forgotten, and the loss of this esoteric teaching is in itself the cause of some radical beliefs in connection with Islam. The great problems of the world relate to the fact that the esoteric understanding of the teachings given in the past, has been eradicated to carry out a suppression of truth. There is an esoteric interpretation as well as a mystical path in all religions. The spiritual net of the fishers of man, the net of entry into the waters of rebirth and into spiritual life, charged with symbolic meaning, is presently being thrown out to catch the souls that have not yet been converted to righteousness. In the New Testament, is found the statement that the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net, and that heaven is the fifth dimension. This is the time for that third wave of souls to be removed from the duality of consciousness that tips the scales of karma in an unfavorable way, when the weight of miscreation is greater than the light that can be magnetized by walking the path of righteousness. Now is the time for a shift and all it takes is a conscious decision. I am referring to souls that are still in the grip of the powers of darkness as they let themselves have feelings of hate. You don't have to love your enemy, as that is more difficult, but feelings can be controlled by maintaining a neutral position, where the perceived enemy is concerned. All are interconnected at the higher, or inner level, so the enemy is but an illusion. There, however, is something called righteous outrage, because it is an outrage that one is justified to feel. It is felt when you are awakened and have the third eye vision of what is going on, and you see the manipulations and conspiracies carried out upon the political scene of the world, for an agenda of control and of destruction, then it is right to feel an outrage, and it is devoid of hate projection towards those who are causing chaos. Judgment should be left to the Christ and the Almighty. However, human beings are entitled to having an opinion and use their analytical abilities together with spiritual discernment to cast light upon the path that they are walking and that is becoming one of light. The Masters and the Archangels have given the light workers tools and a teaching, to make this time of transition easier. These tools are the calls for their intervention in the world, as well as to free mankind from the conditions that could represent obstacles in the process of ascension. The control of feelings is something some people may find difficult to achieve, but if they surrender to the action of the light and request assistance, for instance from Archangel Michael with his sword of blue flame, or from Saint Germain with his violet flame, it's an easier task. They can change you and accelerate your upliftment upon the path. All you have to do is to maintain your connection, and a call for the tube of light will achieve this. Christine These are the thoughts that the Master Jesus transmitted to me this morning when I was in meditation, as well as telethought transmissions as I was recalling them and putting them to writing. He has also just given me a word-for-word -word dictation. By this I mean a message received by telepathic communication, or channeled, that I have been able to write down at the same time as I received it, and it is as follows. Master Jesus The group of souls that has not yet been anchored upon the fifth dimension, but will be elevated to join the other two groups that have already reached that status, is presently being affected by the waves of photonic light, the peak of which will be experienced and produce its result, towards the end of this year. It's being shaken to the core. So the motto now is, broadcast love, not hate, or, feel love, control your feelings. Pass on this teachings with regard to the control of hate, light workers, faithful to the light, who have already found calm, peace, and love, and are bringing new paradigms to this world, as well as are transforming it by the way you are. 
you are being loved back by the forces of heaven, with which you have a personal inner connection, as well as by your galactic family. And you feel it within yourself. You feel that divine presence and it is growing and descending. It is manifesting in your world. It is Christ consciousness, the light body, transcending all conditions you till you have the manifestation of the fifth world known to the Hopi Indians, the fifth kingdom of the Master Jewel Cool, the fifth dimension of the physical angels in embodiment, or of heaven upon earth. So dear ones, I will part on this note. I leave you enfolded in my love and it will be for eternity. Jesus Yeshua, Christine, with gratitude, love, and thanks for this message Master Jesus.